Hi everyone, today we will be talking about the mitotic index and cancer. This is going to be a pretty short video because this is just a little bit of a basic intro to mitotic index and cancer. We'll definitely be going into more detail in later videos. Welcome back to Le Learning Magnet. This is Biology Episode 8. If you haven't already checked out our other episodes in the series, please be sure to check them out in the description down below, as well as like and subscribe if you haven't already because it could really help this channel out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's first talk about mitotic index. What is that? So mitotic index is a measure of the proportion of dividing cells. And basically, you can calculate mitotic index by analyzing micrographs, which you'll see in a moment what they are, and you by counting the relative number of mitotic cells versus the non-dividing cells. So all we're doing is we're dividing the cells that are going through mitosis, which is basically nuclear division, divided by the total number of cells that are shown on the micrograph. So this is its little formula. And yes, there is a formula for mitotic index. So take a look at this right here. So we have, this is known as a micrograph, basically. This is kind of like um, if you take a look at a onion tip, like the root of the onion. If you take a look at that, the little tip of that, you may notice something like this. And you'll see that some of these cells are dividing, right? And, you'll, and some of you who have watched our previous videos and mitosis or are familiar with mitosis, you may also recognize some of these stages. You may be like, oh, this is anaphase. Oh, this is this phase. Oh, this is this phase. Oh, look, this is this. Oh, look, this is this. Oh, look, these are all aligning. This is metaphase, et cetera, et cetera. If you haven't already, uh, if you don't know what mitosis is, or if you're still unsure about it, I would recommend that you check out our video, and I'll put that down in the description box down below. So feel free to check that out to get a better understanding and a much clearer understanding of what mitosis is, because it is a very super important topic in biology. Okay, so mitotic index, again, it's cells in mitosis over the total number of cells that you see here. So take a look here. So we need to go ahead and count, like physically count, how many cells have visible chromosomes, like how many cells can we see that have the chromosomes that are visible, versus how many are there without the visible chromosomes? Because usually what happens is the ones that are without the visible chromosomes, that's when we cannot see no longer. It's That's when the cells are not dividing. So that's kind of like the amount of cells that are not dividing. So if you'll notice here with it, we see that, okay, these few are dividing. The green ones are the cells with visible chromosomes, meaning these guys are the ones that are going through mitosis. These are the cells that are in mitosis. So you'll see, so when we count it, you'll notice that, oh, okay, we have 20 green ones, meaning we have 20 cells that are going through mitosis. Now, what's the total number of cells? So let's count the rest of these cells, which are the red ones. And you'll notice that, oh, we have 55 red cells or uh, highlighted red cells, which are basically cells with visible chromosomes, meaning these cells are not going through mitosis. So all we want to do is we want to divide the number of cells in mitosis, the 20, which are the green ones, because you will notice that they're all either replicating or they're like moving away from each other or they're aligning or they're preparing to replicate. So we want to put those, so it's 20, which goes over here, divided by, this line means division, divided by the total number of cells in this micrograph. So we have our 55 red highlighted ones and we've got our 20 green highlighted ones we add them up and we divide it 20 divided by 75 and we get 0 0.267 this is the mitotic index of this micrograph now why is knowing mitotic index important like why do we need to know what are some reasons well we're going to talk about that in a minute okay this is just another quick little exercise, I would highly recommend that you do this because this 
will be like practicing a little bit of mitotic index is good you don't want to practice too much because it is a simple topic so unless you're not understanding it and because it's a very simple topic i think most students do get it but if you're not understanding it i would highly recommend you also do this practice right here so feel free to pause this video and quickly do this you don't need to worry about this one where it's like how many minutes of the day was spent in interface you don't really need to know that we haven't covered it in this video we will be covering it though um but just not in this video so you can just scratch this out i'll scratch it out so you don't really need to worry about how many minutes of the day were spent in interface we're, we're going to be talking, we're definitely going to be talking about these, like how many minutes are spent in a certain phase, but just not yet. So all I want you to do is take a look at number four and take a look at number five and try to practice and see if you can do it. Okay, now let's get to the main part. Why is mitotic index important? Well, this kind of relates with our next topic, cancer. So cancer scientifically speaking it is a rapid uncontrollable reproduction of mutated cells a tumor whereas it is a mass of abnormal cells now a metastasis that is a cancerous tumor that has spread okay now mitotic index the main reason mitotic index is important and it is taught every day almost is because it predicts the response of cancer cells to chemotherapy you may know chemotherapy is kind of one of those treatments given to many cancer patients now how is this possible well think about it mitotic index that is basically a ratio of the number of cells that are that are like in a tumor or a tissue undergoing mitosis compared to the number of cells not undergoing mitosis so if we have like a very high mitotic index that's going to indicate that there's a more rapid proliferation of cells of a certain type okay so that's how mitotic index is super important so many times for if you're analyzing or if you let's say you're looking at a little sample of tissue you're analyzing it we're trying to see if chemotherapy will be um suitable for that certain little tissue then we can calculate the mitotic index to find out that will chemotherapy will be effective will that be a wise choice or not so many times many doctors and scientists do use the mitotic index to figure out and predict what would be the best treatment for a patient who has cancer all right let's talk a little bit about oncogens so oncogens they're basically all they do is they convert a normal cell into a cancer cell and all it is is they're triggered by mutagens remember mutagens are the external factors so, so something like if you walk by someone who's smoking a cigarette that smoke from the cigarette that's a mutagen because that can trigger it can have a harmful impact on you and your cells and your body basically But like I said, it is a short video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like if you haven't already and also subscribe because it will really help the channel out. Also, make sure to tune in for next video. I'm super excited to film the next one because in the next video, we're going to be reviewing this entire unit one that we've been talking about. So all of this biology episodes from one to eight, it's going to be a really big, very clear understanding review okay guys this is my q2 and the video but i hope you enjoyed please be sure to have one more time like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and family or even someone who you think this, ben this video will be beneficial to and tell them to like and subscribe because it's free so why not i'll see you guys next time bye